Hello there, Taurus. How's it going? <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed your last week. It's time for your rune reading. It's time for your reading. What is going on here today? Hope you enjoyed your last week since I've last seen you guys. Let's see what's going on here. Ah. La Goose. La Goose. That's a great... Um, a rune. La Goose is um, it's a it represents water, but it it, it also mainly um, it's like going with the flow, but it mainly represents intuition. <clears throat> so it looks like your intuition is really high. <clears throat> What's going on here with Taurus? Ah. He was. He was. Hmm. He was is it it um he was means you know it it could mean travel. You can see it's it's shaped like a horse saddle type of like where you could sit on a horse, but <clears throat> it mainly means uh companionship. You know, trust, loyalty, yeah. Let's get another one here. Dogaz. Dogaz. That one's kind of hard to see. Dogaz. You know what, I'm going to grab the cards. You might have a hard time seeing those clear ones. It's just that those ones just fell in my hands, so <laughs> it is. It just those ones wanted to come out. Let me see here. There is La Goose. <clears throat> um, where is he was? Where is he was? Got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> uh, let me see here. What's that? There it isn't. Yeah, sometimes it, um, when I'm pulling these, uh, trying to find the cards, it takes me a while to, <laughs> to locate them. <clears throat> All right, there we go. La Goose. He was and Dogaz or Digaz. I try to pronounce these things right, but you know it is a different language. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so uh, Dogaz is like transformation. You can see the you know the butterfly shape. But it also indicates, you know, an increase of an increase uh, in money, you know, prosperity, stuff like that. So, and also too, <clears throat> it could mean it could mean like a unexpected, you know, breakthrough or out, you know, that you weren't expecting. So yeah, that's what that's about. camera situated a little better. There we go. Now you can see him better. Let's get another one here. Not these. Not these. There it gets clear. Not these. Alright, so not these um, in this position is telling me that, you know, now is a really good time to learn so if you're learning something maybe maybe you're learning something right now but everything is looks just wonderful so far so Nathis is telling me that you're learning something or you're gonna be learning something or something to that nature let's get another one here
Menez. Menez. So, yeah, you know, this is kind of looks like a love reading, honestly. Because this is, you know, talking about trust and, you know, yeah, this kind of looks like a love reading. I'll have to, I'll have to, uh, it's a very, very positive reading. Um, especially, you know, with the goose down here, you're just going with the flow. But I see this right here. I see um, Iwas, and then I see this over here, Menez, and I'm thinking this could possibly be some sort of a love situation. But, and then I see this. This is like transformation. And, um, so it'll be interesting to pull some tarot cards and, and see what, what up on that. <clears throat> so let's get into that. Um, I'm going to pull these cards away because... Unfortunately, I don't have a big enough table, so I've got to make do with what I got here in my space. But I will pull this back so we can still see everything. All right. Let me get this out of the way. There we go. All right. Okay, so let's, let's get into it here. So maybe you can see those. Maybe lower this a little bit. There we go. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a different card read. I'm gonna do a, I'm just gonna do a, a, a simple three card read, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna clarify every card. So it'll still be a good read. It just won't be as fancy as some those other ones that I've been doing. Because I don't really need to be that fancy, I don't think. I think this is going to be a little easier for you guys. Because it gets confusing when I'm pulling out like a trillion different cards. <laughs> What's going on with Taurus? i got to shuffle more. Wow, you know... Just looking at the bottom of the deck, I, I pulled that out. Ten of Cups. That's really kind of a that's a good that's a good card. Usually when I see a card, you know, like that in the deck and I kind of notice it, it usually comes up in the read. So I'm gonna shuffle it some more. Ah, King of Wands. Okay, this particular type of energy is like um, someone that doesn't give up. The King of Wands energy is like not giving up, not taking no for an answer. Um, let's see what else. Ace of Swords. Hmm. Oops. Ace of Cups. Wow. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> See, this makes it a lot easier because if I start pulling out trillions of different cards... It just, you know, there's no room, and you can't really see them all. I have to move the camera a million different times. All right, so we've got the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands there? Wow. 
Okay. That's interesting. All right. Why is the Ace of Swords our... Wow. So I see Aquarian energy in this. I see the star down here, and then I see um, the King of Swords. I'm thinking you could be dealing with with the <clears throat> with an Aquarius. What else is going? On? Knight of Swords, racing into action. What's going on over here? Why is Ace Ace of Cups? Uh, Page of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Cups there? Oh. Hmm. Okay, I think I get it. Sort of. Alright, so it looks like um, from what I can see... Uh, Taurus, it looks like uh, this energy here. This is the king, the king of wands. This guy, um, this guy is uh, one. It's like some sort of energy that uh, that you were in, and that energy is not giving up and and not saying no for what you want. And here you are. You've got lots of different options and everything. And it looks like, it looks to me like, you know, you got your wish. It does. It looks like you could have got your wish. Um, this could also be um, spiritual, a spiritual card. I'm kind of feeling spiritual here. Um and the reason why is because I see Laguse over here. And Laguse is a kind of spiritual uh, rune as well. <clears throat> and so, and it is water. It, it, it's water. It's going with the flow. And you can see um, that, you know, this figure here is pulling, you know, water, pouring water. And it's just going with the flow, just like Laguse. And then up here we see the the Ace of Swords, which is, um, you know, type of <clears throat> energy that um, talks about like a new, a new start. Um, it's it's a new, it's a new beginning. But the Ace of Swords is like, it's. I mean, all the aces kind of like mean beginnings in some sort of way. Uh, when the ace of swords comes up, it, it kind of tells me that, uh, you know, you're, you're starting something new, like a new lifestyle, or, you know, maybe uh, you're, you're getting more money or something like that. And then we have... Uh, this card here, <clears throat> this is the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is uh, um, Aquarian, uh, you know, uh, all the air signs. It could be like Gemini. But, you know, I, the reason why I say this is Aquarian energy is because I see, I see the star here and then I see this. So uh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. That's just kind of like what I'm thinking. And then we have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is actually talking about, can you see, you see this, you know, how he's going into a storm? He's riding into a storm. He's ready for battle or whatever he's going to go take on. Um, he's got his sword up. He's racing right into the storm. You can see the clouds. Yeah, so he's... This is an action card, so, um, yeah, I, you know, um, yeah, I want to pull another card on that. I'm just curious. <laughs> uh, why? Why 
Why is that there? Why is the Knight of Swords there? Hmm. The Three of Wands. Ray, you're, you're rushing out. Okay. You're, you're, you're heading out bravely into your bold, into your future. Looking out into your future. Wow, okay. So, and then we got the, the Ace of Cups. And generally the Ace of Cups means like new love or, you know, it means new beginnings, you know, new blessings. Uh, and so that's what that card means. So you, some of you may be, you know, getting new love. And then after this, we have the Page of Pentacles, which is, you know, it's a new, brand new start. You guys are just, this is like, this is definitely a, and you're leaving, you're leaving this behind. Wow, what a great, what a great reading, you know, um, yeah, that's the way I see it. You're leaving, you're leaving this behind. What a great reading. So this is kind of heartbreak if you want to know what that means. It doesn't look good. You're leaving that behind. So, yeah. The way I read tarot is, you know, I just really kind of like look at the pictures and kind of like figure out, you know, <laughs> a lot of times, you know, because the pictures are so revealing. All right. That looks really pretty, pretty good reading uh, there, Taurus. So I'm going to pull, a, I'm going to pull one of these, um, Oracle cards, and um, see what else is up. What's going on with Taurus? Ah, me talks, me talks. Okay, so like I kind of say, this is kind of like a spiritual. Like I was saying, this could be like spiritual um, and soaking Laguse. Well, this is definitely spiritual as well. And so, you know, it looks like you're you're going through some healing right now. And, um, and that's wonderful. Um, it's just saying here to, you know, uh, cut all this negativity and things that, you know, that, you know, are going on, you know, out cut the things out that you don't need that don't serve you Taurus and everything is going to be cool and it looks really it looks like a very promising uh, read all right all right there well I hope you enjoyed your reading there Taurus please like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time bye for now